cool of characters, right? You got the Game & Watch, you got the Steve, you got the Kazuya. Mainly, mainly plays Palu, but we're seeing the Game & Watch come out. How are you feeling about it? I see the Game & Watch here, and I feel like a big advantage for Game & Watch is... I mean, I think that the obvious thing is combo potential, because Game & Watch can just go for that Nair or that up yeah. out of shield, just go ahead and get a lot of damage for it, but... You know, something that I feel like heavy characters have to understand when they're playing characters like Game & Watch is how do you find your openings? Because one to two straight hits can just take a stock. Yeah, and right now, I mean, this is looking really solid for Leon, just able to consistently get those hits. But you give Marcus an inch, he'll definitely go with a full mile. And we are seeing right now, I mean, it was looking so good for Leon and then Marcus just got an opening. Well, and Dendra, that's opening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That open right there, I mean, was able to really get that kill right there. I mean, that back air is just so powerful on Bowser's side, so, I mean, very nice. Oh, well, yeah, maybe you held the bucket a little bit too long there if you're Marcus, but uh, yeah. I don't think that's a total loss. I mean, either way, it just kind of shows that, like, he's not really playing around with this Fire Breath. I mean, we've seen him up the other shield against the Fire Breath, which I have literally never seen before <laughs> until now. Um, and so uh, you can definitely see that there is some experience um, on Marcus' side in this matchup. But Leon, again, is just, I mean, not only the number two seed and one of the best players in New Jersey, but just straight up one of the best Whoa. players in the world. <laughs> Unlucky judges, though. <laughs> yeah, Marcus is trying to test his luck right now. So far, got a one and a five, but... Yeah. Yeah, just, just looking at it right here, Marcus once again is just new, winning neutral, and I feel like this is just a stereotype for oh. matchups like this, because even if you win neutral, as I said, one or two straight hits can take the stock. Massive down there, unteckable too, like, I mean, Bowser, I mean, strong character, <laughs> as you can see, and this game's been going on quite fast, only two minutes, and we're already, seeing, we're already seeing stocks just fly off the board, and that's even with some of the more defensive play here, um, from the fire breath to the bucket and stuff like that so yeah i've seen that utilization of Zyphe. He tries to go for the bowser bomb spike doesn't get it but it does get the whirling fortress though bowser's tried and true yeah the bit yeah rule rule number one do not hit leon shield wow leon did not even try mashing at all which honestly i can't blame him you want to preserve you want to preserve the energy of your hands by not trying to mash out out of that kill confirm so loki i see the vision <laughs> Yeah, we see more vision coming out right now. Leon needs to find a way to get a lot of assists. Yeah, Ooh. this might do it, actually, on the top platform. Yes, it will. As I was trying to speak it into existence, Leon just needs to find that one open thing because a lot of his hits, as I said, are powerful enough to take the stock from that range. Commentator's manifestation, man. Like, that was really nice there for Leon. That was a pretty quick game. We were, we've been seeing some real wars of attrition. Um, and right now, like, I mean... That game right there was just like it, the stocks just flew right by. And really yeah, the stocks right really by. did fall by, by by both sides. And it is wondering. Oh, I think you had to go for the bucket there. And there oh. it is, twenty percent. I don't think that's a good amount of percent for a count for a bucket though. I mean, I mean, an individual breath of fire is pretty weak. It's just that the combination of like all the different hits is what makes it strong. So it makes sense that it only oh, did. Oh my like, god! <laughs> look, he goes for that. I'm pretty sure. Um, I think it's this one story. I think it was uh, Krill Dog played uh, Marcus before, and he almost beat, almost got the upset over Marcus, and then Marcus did a down throw side B and got a nine. And uh, so Marcus, he is he is willing to do that for sure. And he kind of he be he be a little bit silly sometimes, you know, when he's playing the game. And I think he's kind of aware of that. So he'll go for like those crazy down throw side B subs, but. I mean, if you're him right now, you'll want to go for like more of like a down smash sub, right? Because we see a bit of a lead here for Leon. Yeah, and once again, we're seeing Marcus does not get the stock there. Tried to read a high recovery from Leon, but instead going low. Yeah, interesting to see, but I mean, it's looking pretty good still for Leon, who's perfectly content with just using a lot of fire breath. Because that little chip, it comes in clutch when you get like a certain early kill with a potential back air kind of thing, or like a forward air by the ledge. Or a side B. Get the side B going in again. That's an 82% game watch right now. Marcus going really high. Goes for the up B. And yeah, okay, a little bit of a late reaction from Leon, but yeah. then again, he probably didn't envision that coming as we see a bomb. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the downer. Down yeah, it's not, gonna, it's not gonna beat that up air, but you know what will beat Game of Watch? Beside me. 
Especially with Rage, and there's the Whirling Fortress getting 15%. Yeah. This is a massive lead here for Leon. I mean, two stocks up, three stocks to one. I mean, looking very nice. And Mark is getting a little bit desperate. They're trying to do this down there stuff. Hasn't been going for a lot of smash attacks, honestly. But with the amount of grounded control you get with uh, the Fire Breath, I can't blame oh. you. Ooh. Uh, yeah, nice forward though. tilts trade there. Marcus has got his faster. Yeah, for sure. That is a fast freaking forward tilt. It is really good. <laughs> Oh, oh and I was going to take the stock there, and that is a quick set for Leon, showing out why Bowser is arguably the best heavy in the game. Mm -hmm. and yeah, I mean, Leon, one of the best Bowsers in the world, historically has been for the past four or five years, and I mean, we see it right there, how he's just able to make the stocks explode, and very nice stuff. I mean, just usual business, just another day in the office, really, for a... Uh, um, Leon, we're gonna ignore that the uh, accidental replay of the previous set, <laughs> but shouts to production though. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, it's just like I feel like Marcus is on the opposite end of the spectrum because he wants to be the character that gets the combos and not the straight hits. But Leon's been getting the straight hits and he's yeah. been getting a lot of them. Like as I said, Bowser's a very strong character. Oh, for sure. I mean, literally strong. Like I remember the real first impression I got of this set was seeing like. Um, Marcus got that early kill, and then Leon immediately just goes off the angel platform, back airs, and he explodes, just goes flying. <laughs> it was really, it, it was really fun to me for some reason, because it was like he went, he just went everywhere. But um, yeah, that was still a very, um, I mean, it was a good.